What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there crushing it on the tables. Had another rough session last night. Lost 218 bucks. Ran negative variance. Got in some tough spots. Let's jump right into the cash games. First hand we're going to take a look at is Ace King suited playing from the big blind. We are at a 50 NL table. We get an open from under the gun to 2.5x and it folds around to us. I put in a three bet and we get a four bet. This player has played pretty loose pre-flop, has a high three bet and four bet percentage. So I decide to just call in this spot. I think maybe a five bet jam would have been a good play here, but I don't mind the call on just a small raise of of 475 we're getting pretty good odds almost three to one on the odds and we see a flop of eight high two town two diamonds we have the nut flush draw and two over cards i check to the player who has shown a lot of aggression pre-flop most likely has a very strong hand and they bet ten dollars which pretty much pot commits us into this pot and should pot commit them as well so i jam all in and maybe we can induce a mistake from hands like ace king maybe we could get hands like tens maybe jacks would fold in this spot to a raise like this if they really put us on a big hand and if we do get called a lot of the times we're going to be drawing out to an ace a king or any diamond for the best hand here. So I'm not gonna mind a call here. Either way this hand works out, we are doing pretty well. But we do get a fold. We were probably up against another ace king and we take down that pot of almost 40 bucks with an ace high and a big draw. Next hand we're looking at is pocket kings. We are at a 25 NL table playing from under the gun plus two. Under the gun plus one opens to a dollar fifty. That is a large bet. It is six X. I make a standard three bet with kings 453x the open and we get a call from the open razor flop is all fours we flop a boat which is most likely the nuts on this flop aces probably would have jammed pre-flop so i think we're going to be getting a lot of calls from pairs in this spot we can probably get a lot of calls from ace highs in this spot as well our opponent checks i put in a small bet a bet of actually the the board and we get a and we get a jam from our opponent going to be calling here every time i make the call see that we're up against an ace high just have to avoid an ace on the turn and river jack doesn't help and three gives us the pot next hand we're looking at is also ace king suited diamonds playing from the small blind this time at the 25 nl table we get an open from the cutoff to 3x and i'm putting in a three bet here pearl drummer 88 has been playing pretty loose has not folded to a three bet yet and looks to be a very recreational player we see a flop of ace high two tone there is two spades out there pearl drummer 88 bets five dollars almost a full pot i just make a call here with ace king the turn is another ace i check back once again to try to induce some bluffs we get a bet of half pot 748 and i am getting the rest in right here make it 1847 to go we get a call he did have a flush draw as well as draws to a 10 going into the river but the four wins it for us and we take down a pot of almost $53. Here we have King Queen suited playing at the 50 NL table. We get a limp from under the gun plus one and we get an isolation bet from what looks to be a recreational player, Zach M420. So I make a call here in position with the King Queen suited. Don't mind getting in hands with players to our right, especially those that are recreational. And four of us see a flop. We are last to act and the flop is king high rainbow we also have a backdoor flush draw the pre-flop isolator bets a little bit less than half pot i just make a call here the turn is the seven of clubs and our opponent bets again less than half pot i am just making a call and the five of spades on the river and once again our opponent bets a little bit less than half pot raising in this spot doesn't really make sense we're probably only going to get called by hands that beat us none of the draws got there if this player does wind up having ace king we pretty much just got coolered and we're gonna lose those hands once in a while if they have ace if they have king jack same type of situation but we are beating pretty much every other hand out there within this player's range 
So I do make the call, and we were up against Ace King. Again, that's only going to be a small percentage of his range that beats us, so I think calling the entire way down isn't that terrible of a play. But you guys can let me know down in the comment section if you disagree, if you think I could have gotten rid of this or played it differently at some point during the hand. I think if we fold this hand pre-flop, we obviously would have saved a lot of money. But is this a hand we should be folding to a 4x isolation bet from a recreational player? And now we have pocket kings at the 50 and out table playing a little shorthanded here There are six of us being dealt into this hand and we open from the cutoff to 3x We get a three bet from the big blind a little bit less than 3x are open And this is a short stacker has not folded to four bets yet small sample size of 446 But I am going to be putting in a four bet here make it 950 a little bit larger than 2x the three bet and we get a call Flop is queen high, two tone, two diamonds out there. We have the kings over the board. This is a very wet board. Lots of draws out there. Our opponent is pot committed already. I put in a bet of half pot on the flop. Our opponent jams the rest of his chips in and we make a call. Just have to avoid a king or a ace going into the river. I guess a nine wins it for him as well. There are a lot of outs. And there's the nine giving our opponent the straight. Chris Ryan, nice work, good draw. I'll get you next time. And now we have pocket queens. This is at the 200 NL table. We get it open to 4X from under the gun plus one. And I just make a call here. This player plays a pretty tight range and it's going to be playing tight from the early positions. And we see a flop of ace high, monotone, all clubs. We do have the queen of clubs giving us the nut flush draw, but those ace and king on the board are not very conducive for our our hand our opponent leads out for a small one-third pot size bet and I just make a call in this spot and we hit a six of clubs on the turn giving us the nuts there's $31 in the pot our opponent checks and I decide to check back as well to try to get the most value out of our hand maybe we can get a river bluff maybe we can make a bet size that would get hands like aces to call here on the river so there's the check a nine of diamonds solidifies the nuts. Our opponent checks, and we need to figure out a bet sizing that an ace would call here. Possibly a smaller flush as well. So I bet 19. It's a little bit less than two thirds pot. And we do get a call, taking down a pot of almost 70 bucks with the nut flush. What do you guys think about this hand as well? Do you think we could have bet the turn, bet for small value on the turn? I think we could have missed out on a little bit of value on the turn, setting us up for a larger river bet giving us more value by the river as well and now we are looking at pocket kings at the 200 nl table we are playing from under the gun plus one under the gun folds and we open to six dollars we get a call on the button and we see a flop heads up we are up against a recreational player pretty fishy numbers so far vpip of 55 percent so there are going to be a lot of hands within this player's pre-flop call Falling range from the button and the flop is eight high two tone there is two spades on the board giving us the backdoor spade draw and most of the hands right now are not going to be within this player's range eight five maybe eight dues probably not five dues probably not there could be some straight draws some flush draws in here so I lead out to a player who folds only 30% to flop bets which is a great spot to be betting for value and we get a call queen of clubs comes on the turn none of the draws got there not many hands improve. I could see something like ace queen of spades or queen jack of spades, queen ten of spades. There's a lot of hands that would call a flop bet and get part and improve a little bit with this turn card. But I believe we are still good against the majority of our opponent's range. So I lead out for almost $22, a little bit less than two thirds pot. And our opponent jams all in. It is a little bit more than $90 for us to call here. We are getting almost two to one on our money. And again, I really thought our opponent would have a hand like the queen with a flush draw. I didn't think that, you know, there was obviously the possibility that a queen eight would be within this player's pre-flop calling range. But besides that, none of the other hands really improved. So I did think that we were good against the majority of this player's range. So I, of course, do make a call here, but you guys should let me know what you would have done in this spot. There's about $90 in the 
jackpot and it's about 95 for us to call here a little bit less than two to one pretty much pot committed here in a hand that i really didn't think connected with this player's range too well there's just way too many draws out there for us to be folding in this spot at least that's my opinion you guys let me know what you think as well so there's the call we need a king we don't need a king a king helps but we need a deuce a five a king we were still 18.18 percent going into the river so we did have quite a few outs but we do wind up losing this hand of 262 dollars to a queen eight that got there on the turn we were a 82.42 percent favorite on the flop and that pretty much sums up how this session went that is two pretty brutal sessions in a row hopefully we can bounce back going to try to put in some big volume here before the end of the year so we can get up to that 100,000 cp points and move up in the vip program within america's card room as well if you want to check out america's card room or the vip program click one of the links down in the video description hit that subscribe button as well if you have not done that yet we have a new subscribe button it is the d logo right here so click that if you have not subscribed yet give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you got some useful information out of it think about these hands and leave those comments in the comment section below it is great practice to be thinking about ways to play poker and alternative ways and hear what other people have to say about these hands it's how you're going to learn off the table and improve your on table game thanks for watching poker players and I will be back with a new video very soon but until then I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.